I am a big Kid Rock fan. Uh, you know, I, I met Kid Rock uh, right after he hit big. Uh, we were up in Detroit with WCW. And uh, he came to the building with the midget that he had in all his early videos. Uh, I, I don't know the guy's name off the top of my head. Um, but, you know, a really cool guy. You know, he was uh, really excited to be backstage and, and be at wrestling. And, you know, I've I followed his career pretty intently since. You know, he was such a genuinely good guy, you know, that you follow along with his career and see a lot of the stuff he's done with, you know, uh, the crossover series and, and things like that. And, uh, you know, at the time, you couldn't possibly see him working with, you know, uh, uh, Bo Cephas or, you know, a lot of the other people that he has, uh, Cheryl Crow. And, you know, he's done such an amazing job, you know, based on what he had as a very fine niche coming out when he came out in the 90s. And then, you know, crossing over to all these other things, working with Leonard Skinner and, and uh, 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 Hank Williams Jr. and Sheryl Crow and so many others, uh, you know, that he's one of the, like, when I, when I heard him being announced for the Hall of Fame, I thought, like, there's a, finally a celebrity uh, uh, inductee that I can get behind and believe in because he, uh, he was a huge, is a huge wrestling fan. Uh, it wasn't like he was just a guy that made an appearance on a WWE show and now he's in because he's a big name. This guy is as big a wrestling fan as anybody that's ever watched wrestling and probably bigger than most. Uh, so, yeah, I was pretty pumped to hear you know about Kid Rock getting in. I, he's a good guy.